The idea pen gaming laptops are finally out into their own. Under the new LOQ name, they can finally flourish and bottle the Victus's katanas, words, and everything else MSI can think of at this point. The new Lenovo LOQ 16 has the potential to be the best all around gaming laptop that you can actually purchase, as the 16 inch screen is great for more than just gaming, while the hardware on the inside allows you to tackle any task with ease. The laptop hasn't changed at all, utilizing the same plastic exterior. The lid has the new LOQ logo, while the chassis itself still clocks in at 2.6 kg and a profile of 21 mm at the front and 25.9 mm at the back. The lid is a bit prone to flex, but the base is way stiffer, so durability is generally good. It also opens with one hand, showing off the 4-zone RGB keyboard. It's got a numpad, long key travel and clicky feedback. All the ingredients for a good board. The touchpad has the classic Mylar cover, which mimics glass relatively well while being accurate and responsive. The port selection spans across the left, right and back. On the right, there's one USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 1 port and an e-shutter for the full HD webcam. The back houses the bulk of ports, with two USB Type-A 3.2 Generation 2 ports, a LAN port, an HDMI 2.1 FRL port, and the power plug. Lastly, on the left, there's one USB Type-C 3.2 Generation 2 port and an audio jack. While we've talked on and on about the display of the LOQ16, we kind of missed out on the fun, as our configuration comes with the base variant Full HD IPS display. It reaches a peak brightness of 347 nights, higher than what most other budget gaming laptops offer, so good job. However, don't expect to tackle any design or creator work with it, as it covers only 53% of the sRGB gamut. Still, the panel is fine for gaming, thanks to the 144Hz refresh rate. With our design and gaming profile, the white and lighter colors become clearer and more accurate, which can still factor in and improve the work of the panel. We'll link our profile in the description. Budget laptop speakers generally don't provide the best sound, however, the LOQ16 manages to deliver decent quality with no significant deviations across the entire frequency range. The laptop offers a total of four Raptor Lake H series processors, including the Core Wine 713 620H that we have here. Believe it or not, it has the exact same Cinebench and Photoshop scores as the Katana 15 from MSI, which uses the same processor. Overall, we're satisfied with the power of the 10-core CPU. As for graphics, there is the RTX 3050, as well as 240 series GPUs. We tested the RTX 4050, which outperforms the RTX 3060 in last year's IdeaPad Gaming 3 laptop while being better than other RTX 4050 offerings too. Switching to games first, we tested Borderlands 3, which runs at 74 FPS on the badass preset at 1080p. Next is Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands, which is a taxing title even in 2023, running at 63 FPS on the Ultra preset at 1080p. Let's go. The laptop is able to push out these performances thanks to its cooling setup, which has three heat pipes and two fans. 
In stress tests, the core Wine 7 13620H is able to go as high as 105 watts while maintaining 70 watts for more than 15 minutes, like continued gaming. What's interesting is that the CPU puts the brunt of the work on the e-cores in long loads so they clock very highly, which we've seen other laptops do as well. And at least in our opinion, it's not the most successful strategy. The GPU is the more impressive of the two, reaching very high clock speeds of up to 2685 MHz, thanks to the automatic overclock feature inside the Vantage software. The fan noise isn't very bad, however, it's audible. The external temperatures were the bigger problem as a hotspot of 46 degrees Celsius can lead to sausage fingers, especially during the summer. Despite the larger 80 watt hours battery pack, the Alloc 16 lasts for only 6 hours of web browsing or 6 hours and 31 minutes of video playback. This is okay for a gaming machine however, in most cases if you multitask or do more taxing work, the battery will drain quicker. The upgradability of the laptop is pretty good, with two RAM slots for a total of 64GB of DDR5 memory in total. Storage-wise, there are two M.2 PCIe slots for Generation 4 SSDs. As always, we'll have a link to our teardown video in the description as well as in the pop-up card up top. Lenovo used 2022 as a transition year, finally giving the IdeaPads a unique visual aesthetic. Now in 2023, the change is fully on, as the LOQ brand encompasses all of its budget gaming efforts. With that said, the LOQ16 has some stuff to improve on, however, it keeps being a stable base for both gaming and even more, depending on how you configure it. You can check out our full in-depth review on our website, the link is down below.